What's the best smart ass comment you've ever heard someone say? I pulled up to a regular pizza customer's house, knocked on the door, rather than the usual dad. Mom comes to the door, reaches to the table to get the cash. It was gone. She tells me, just a second. She turns toward the inside of the house and yells at her teenage sons. If that pizza money isn't out here in 30 seconds, I'm gonna kick both of you in the nuts so hard you are going. Have to pee like girls for a month. The younger one came running like a like an Olympic relay runner with the money out front. Ex dad making fun of my skinny legs are those your legs, or are you riding a chicken? Me I do, have a big cock between my legs. My very quiet, conservative grandma just recently had a heart attack, while on a morning, walk around her neighborhood. She felt as he and fainted on the side of the road in someone's yard. The middle aged woman whose yard she fell into ran out, and woke her up asking, should I call an ambulance? And my grandma managed to sassy honey, what the heck do you think? To anyone who buds in, and tells you how to do your my job do I walk into where you work slap the dick out of your mouth. Buddy of mine had his first kid. Family is at the hospital for support. Buddy says, if nothing else, I can at least prove I'm not a virgin anymore. His dad pipes up. Nope, you can only prove your wife isn't a virgin. Doing a group exercise at uni and there were 5 in the group 2 very good looking girls. Me, a really nice but quiet, fairly beta guy, and a very alpha one ape guy who was very passive aggressive and desperate to show off to the girls. Well Mr Loudmouth was taking over everything, and trying to tell everyone what to do. And every time me, or the other guy suggested anything, or put forward any ideas he would interrupt with stuff like, Come on, don't try and take over. We're all working together. He was getting in the way, interrupting etc, and causing a lot of looks and die rolls among the group. Noon could be bothered to say too much to him cause he would overreact, and cause more disruption. So everyone just worked around him, until he finally talked over quiet guy who was making an important suggestion with, come on now man, there is no IT. To which the quiet guy, without missing a beat just snapped and responded, no. But there is a U in CNT. Guy 1 you look gay in your new profile pic. Guy 2 that's not what your mom said. Guy 1 but she was thinking it. Mate. This mom came into a coffee shop with her son and her puppy in her arms. However, the owner had allergies, so he's had a sign put up no dogs allowed. Thank you. This girl who was working there tried to ask her to leave. Madam. You can't have dogs in here. The woman went. Pointing at her puppy. This is my son. You can't kick my son out. While raising her voice. So the owner comes and requests her to leave. The woman angrily responded saying how the puppy was her son. And her actual human son went along saying how the puppy was his brother. After a moment of thinking. The owner said the following. I'm sorry madam. I didn't realize he the puppy was your son. In that case. All you beaches can leave now. Thank you. Her face went bright red claiming she was going to sue him, or whatever, while everyone in the shop was cracking up. The funniest, most smart ass thing my husband has ever done, was completely non-verbal. Me will you turn out the light. Him clap clap. Me laughing we don't have a clapper. You'll have to turn out the light the old fashioned way. Him purses lips and starts blowing toward the lamp. Me I ducking love you. Mid 80s. I was blasting Metallica and my mom had enough. She comes in making fun of my music saying it's saying devil devil devil. Kill kill kill. I looked at her and said mom. How did you know the lyrics 10 year old me was quite impressed. Dad is sitting on the couch. Mom is screaming and fighting. He doesn't say a word. She finally comes in and yells you lazy bastard. You haven't even lifted a finger. My dad looks at her smiles and flipped her off. I'm one of the coaches for my son's football team. They are all 8, 9 years old. Boys are all talking about if they are going to play next year. One boy says I'm not playing next year my son bursts out I was waiting for you to start playing this year. I'd agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. 
When I was a kid, the family was watching TV one evening. My brother, being a smart ass, farted and said there's a kiss for ya dad. My dad without missing a beat said you need to go brush your teeth. I laughed for a good long time on that one. This is a story my dad told me about his psychology class in college. In this classroom, one could look out the window and see a tree that was in the middle of a roundabout like division in the road. Basically a big patch of grass and a tree dividing a focal area of road that people had to drive around. Prof Jim, I want you to convince me that tree over there exists. Dad well, I can see it, I can touch it, I could taste it if I wanted to. Prof that's not good enough. I'm not convinced that it exists. What else? Dad well, we are talking about it, so we are aware of it. If I knocked on it, I could hear it. Prof that's good. But I'm still not convinced. I don't believe that the tree really exists. What else? Dad look, when I drive home today, I'm going to drive down that road and drive around that tree and go home. You can drive down that road and continue going straight. Then you can tell your insurance agent that the damage to your car doesn't really exist. Class lost their shit. Prof steamed silently. Knew he'd been had. Too long didn't read my dad was a shit. A guy at work I'll call him John was dating a co-worker. She turned out to be a bitch. They broke up. And she got engaged to some other guy. When this info broke. Someone asked. Who's the lucky guy? Another co-worker replied. John. An 8 year old kid I babysit was adopted from Russia when he was about a year old. His family is really open about it and it's pretty cool. Well, one time his mom had him at a play date with some little girl and her mom. Everyone there knows he's adopted except the little girl. So, she was being as not as little girls are and said something along the lines of well you're an alien. Your parents bought you. Boy stops dead in his tracks. Looks at his mom and yells I'm adopted. Mom follows along with the trolling and responds with I'm so sorry sweetie, we didn't want you to know. Yes, we bought you. You are an alien to this place. Boy pretends to be distraught. Little girl feels terrible. Little girl's mom is horrified at this level of sarcasm and trolling. I have atrocious handwriting. My bad tempered teacher looked over at my assignment once and said your handwriting's getting worse and I said your personality's getting worse. She didn't know what to say. Everyone laughed. Another time at school, we had this awesome, funny teacher. A handsome guy who would say outrageous things. He would jokingly flirt with an English teacher. A grumpy, fat woman. He joked to her in front of us that he had spent Saturday morning with her. She primarily said Saturday morning. I was in church, and with a roguish grin, he said yeah, and let's just say you had a lot to confess about. My nephew 5 years old was being rather ornery on day, and wouldn't come inside to eat. His father comes up to him, after he got his tantrum out, and said you going to come in, and eat dinner now. To which this little guy responded I don't know, are we going to have good food tonight? I saw this video a while back of this really really douche guy, like he was a greater douche, and he said shit like women make lines for guys like me which I don't think was true cause he looked skinny and weird. But anyway, this bitter fat girl in the crowd gets up and starts screaming at him, and she says well yeah I would be at the end of that line. And he says well, if you hit the treadmill a little more you would be at the front laughing my freaking butt off. On a conference call when someone was talking about making chili for the chili contest in their office. Her I don't eat chili, but my husband tried mine, and he didn't die, so we know it's not poison. Smart ass we know it's not a fast acting poison. Told my girlfriend something was in my eye while rubbing it. She goes, is it your finger? Your girlfriend is a dad. In a high school English class, there was a short, chubby kid nicknamed Ace who always wore a giant puffy coat, like a Mexican cartman. I guess, he wasn't a bad kid for SE, but he was definitely a smart ass little shit. This other kid asks to go to the bathroom, and the teacher says sure, take two minutes, and go take a leak and Ace says what, if he's got to take a shit, that don't take number two minutes. 
The teacher replies you know Ace, when I was your age I used to be just like you. To which Ace immediately responds you was a pimp. The name of the deceased has been changed. When my dad informed our 88 year old neighbor that another neighbor, this one aged 90, had died. My dad misses. Richie Lou died. Neighbor adjusting his hearing aid what? My dad now yelling misses. Richie Lou died. Neighbor waving hand dismissively or. She was a pain in the ass. And try as I might. I could not find fault with that statement. I cannot remember how the conversation started. But my dad and grandma his mum are having an argument and he says something along the lines of you've got four grandchildren. But only one child. And she responds. And yet you're still not my favorite. Back when I was an OB in the military, all the SGTS and one captain were making fun of each other horribly during lunch. I felt myself starting to blush afraid someone was gonna pick on me next. The captain said, oh look at the newbie he's turning red. Thank god that was the fastest my brain ever worked. And I said I'm blushing, because I'm thinking about how much it's gonna tickle when I stick my balls in your mouth. The room erupted and nobody tried me after that. Luckily the captain was a good sport. I forget the context, but my teacher told me Rome wasn't built in a day and I responded, but it did burn down in a day. He wasn't very happy with me. Mockingly oh you study psychology. Okay then. Tell me what I'm thinking. Evidently not that much, if you're asking that sort of a question. It shut him up alright. A guy I went to school with came one day with some ludicrously large and rather silly glasses on. He didn't normally wear glasses at all, and was known for misbehaving. So the teacher asked in a pretty exasperated tone, is there a medical reason that you're wearing those glasses? Yes sir, I have a cough. I'm not even sure why, but I always chuckle thinking back about it. I asked a co-worker his opinion on something to which we had differing opinions. He ends up telling me he feels really bad about it, but just can't let himself take my side. It just wouldn't be right. I ask him why. He says I can't allow us to both be wrong. That would just be silly. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe, 